this video I would like to show you how to format your section headings using the heading styles function in Word. Here we have a document with various levels of headings. Primary heading and smaller headings down here. Another heading here and even lower level headings here. Now each of these levels of headings I would like to format in a different style. To make sure you stay consistent with the style that you choose can use the heading styles function in Word. This can be found under the Home tab. If we would like to format this as a level 1 heading, we can click on level 1 and this may be a bit big for us. Just change it to a smaller font if you wish. And we would like to stay with Times New Roman. To make sure that Every time you format one of these headings as a heading 1, click right click on this heading style 1 and say update heading 1 to match selection. Now we can move to the heading 2 style. Let's name this as a heading 2 and you only have to do go through this whole thing once. And we would like to have it times new roman. A size 13 will be best stick to 13. We would like to have it bold and black please. And we would like to have all other headings as a heading 2 as well. Now we've already determined the font and the size of the font and the style. Now we scroll down to the next heading which we would like to call heading 2. And we just update it in this way. Here's another one which would like we would like to add to heading 2. Now this one is a lower level heading. I would like to make it a heading 3. Let's change it to Times New Roman. Uh, size 12 will be fine. And I would like to have it in black. Bold will also be good. Now update the heading 3 to match the selection. And this is also a level heading 3. And this is back to a level 2 heading. Now this will make browsing through your document much easier. To open the navigation pane, click on Control F. And here on the left hand side you will see the list of headings. If you want to scroll back to your systematic review questions, you just click on the relevant heading on the left side. You also need to allocate heading styles if you want to insert a table of contents.